Q2. That's all I got going on. It's been a minute, man. I know it. Man. It's been a beautiful day. How y'all been doing, YouTube? You know, I've been having a cool day, you know. Ah, oh, man. Another episode, huh? I don't know what episode this is. You know, I want to chop it up with y'all because I ain't seen y'all in a minute. You feel? Man, I got something to tell y'all, YouTube. <laughs> Shit. YouTube, we got Superhero. I ain't gonna tell you why I live there, YouTube. I can't tell y'all that, but come to find out, you know, I was, you know, scrolling through my time now. You know, I don't be on social media, YouTube. I really don't fuck with it like that. But come to find out, you know, I come, you know, at first we had a serial killer on our hands, you know. Why, 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 man? We had a serial killer and shit. You know, I guess, you know, he was, you know, stabbing people and shit like that, you know. Which is real serious, you know. I'm not down with nobody taking nobody's life and all that bullshit. All that, it's too much shit going on in 2020. I mean, 2021. It reminded me of 2020, but shit. All this bullshit going on. We got a serial killer. Next thing I know, we got a motherfucker, you know, a damn superhero. Somebody really trying to take matters into their own hands. You know? No, the motherfucker, he ain't faster than a speeding bullet. He ain't more powerful than a locomotive. He can't leap the tallest building, no shit like that. He can't do that. I don't think he can, you know? Y'all think I'm bullshitting YouTube, I'm not bullshitting, but I'm just letting you know. I, only reason I'm saying this is because I'm sharing it because it was on my mind. <laughs> and shit was funny, you know. I ain't going, you know, I ain't trying to put nobody on blast and that's, that's why I ain't saying shit, you know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to, you know, put nobody on blast nothing like that. But we do got a superhero. I don't know what he was thinking about, but I guess he woke up one morning and said, you know what, I'm sick of this crime, I'm sick of all this bullshit, I'm sick of the Black Lives Matter. I'm sick of, you know, the black on black or the, the, racist crime, the racist crime, the drug dealing and all that shit. And something got to be done about it. Something got to be done about it. And so this man decided to step up and save this fucking planet. And save this city. You know, where, where I'm at. Because we need justice. So I salute him. You know, I salute him. He put his life on the line to justify this city. He looking for somebody that's killing motherfuckers. For real. But anyway, hope y'all having a good day, you two. I ain't gonna even talk about this shit no more, you know. But you know, I'm doing a little spring cleaning, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a little spring cleaning today. And uh, come to find out, you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what? Some real shit, though. Hey, next to, next to cleanliness is godliness. Hey, that's some real shit. And I'm gonna tell you why it's, I'm gonna tell you why it's real. You know, some people get offended and when you say they nasty and when you call them nasty or something like that. They get offended, but you should be offended because being nasty is really offensive. Being musty is offensive. When you smell, that's offensive. You know what I'm saying? We got roaches everywhere. That's offensive. You know what I mean? It really is offensive. And shit, I mean, some people that really, you know, it's just like if a person, if they don't take care of their hygiene and shit like that, and you tell them, like, you know what I'm saying? You can tell them in a nice way. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you need to, you know, handle that. You know what I'm saying? It's really no nice way you can tell a person that they need to wash their ass. There's no nice way that you can tell somebody that they need to wash their ass. It's really not a nice way. If a person tells you that you stink, if a person say they smell you, you should be offended. If you don't be offended that you stink, You can't be nice saying that you must tell your nasty. I'm trying to be nice about the shit. You can't be nice saying that you must. You can't do the shit. So why you be offended in the fucking way? If, if you know better, you know your hygiene. Or you know something ain't right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Shit ain't clean. Just clean shit up. You know, just clean it up. But it's a difference between being nasty and being cluttered. Some people be cluttered and shit. Some people ain't nasty. They just got a lot of shit everywhere. They do. Some people just got a lot of bullshit everywhere. You know, some people got kids and stuff like that, so they got toys and all that stuff. That's not their fault. I mean, some people, they got they be on the go and shit like that. Now, clutter, ain't no wrong with that. But it's different between being cluttered up and, you know, just being nasty in the motherfucker. It's really a different, you know, being nasty as hell, you know. <clears throat> Man, it's really different. But, you know what I'm saying, you know, being nasty, like, you know, food every damn well, crumbs all over the floor and shit like that. You know, uh roaches and I mean just shit like that you know what I mean shit all on the back of the toilet or piss stains and all that that's nasty now, that's what we call nasty clutter is when you got you know now nasty is when you got empty cans and soap now that is nasty you know what I'm saying when you got some shit some empty containers put the shit in the trash you know what I'm saying YouTube I'm telling you put the shit in the trash 
You know, I seen I done seen people put shit in the trash without even putting trash liners in the trash can. They just throw shit in there. And then when you tell them to put a trash can line in there, they'll say some shit like, did nobody else do it? That's why the world is the way it is today, because don't nobody else do it, you don't want to do it. Everybody else following along with everybody else. Everybody's scared to pick up their shovel and just go on their own path. You know what I'm saying? Do their own thing. You know what I mean? Do their own, you know what I'm saying, mission and shit like that. That's just like falling in love and shit like that. People in relationships and shit like that. Y'all seen my last video from a gal up there. You know what I'm saying? She went on here and bust y'all head. You know, she was, you know, when she she did a good job. You know what I'm saying? She gave y'all that word. Y'all seen that shit? She did that. She gave y'all that word. You know what I mean? Pretty nice. I know it. I know it. Yeah. She sure will. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just that, man. Some people, they don't want to, you know, do shit because other, they, they, they're afraid of what other people think of shit like that. Like, some people, you know what I'm saying, it's just like in relationships and shit like that. Some girls and some, you know what I'm saying, some girls like to hold their dude's hand and shit like why they walk through the park or throwing bread at ducks and shit like that. They want to hold their, you know what I'm saying, their woman's hand or their woman want to hold their man's hand. And some men don't want to do the shit. They be like, oh, man, that's not, that's a little soft, you know what I'm saying, that's not macho and shit like that. Some people, you know what I'm saying, but you saying that shit because you wonder how other people feel about it. You think people gonna be like, oh, look at that man, you over there hold this guy hand, old pussy, old pussy whipped ass nigga. And y'all be thinking that shit. Man, I don't give a fuck. If I wanna hold a hand, I'm holding a fucking hand because she belonged to me any goddamn way. It don't matter what other people think. If she mine, she mine. She belonged to me, she belonged to me. You know what I mean? Some shit like that. You know, some people are afraid to take action and ownership of their fucking life because they're afraid of what other people think. Mm, 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 mm. I done jumped on a whole nother level, man. I knew it. I'm about to get in y'all ass today because I ain't talk to y'all ass in a minute. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people been fucking up in the game because they don't want... People are afraid to be who they are. They're afraid to be who they are. They're afraid to say how they feel. You know, they sugarcoat shit. But you ain't really saying how you feel. Man, fuck that. You know, I believe in saying how I feel, you know. But I believe in being nice about it. It's just like, you know, like the people being offensive about, you know, being nasty and stuff like that. How the fuck can you be offensive when that's just like a... That's some shit that you should be taught taught as a child. You know, everybody fucked up and shit like, you know, some people ain't writing stuff like that. Everybody make mistakes and stuff like that. But, you know, when it comes to hygiene and cleaning it, like washing your ass and, you know, taking care of yourself, that should be mandatory in your mind. That should be one of the first things on your lips. When you get up in the morning, you, first thing you need to do is throw some, wash your face, brush your teeth, wash your ass, shit like that. You know what I mean? Thank God and all that. You gotta put the Lord first in anything. Really need to thank God for your feet hit the floor. When your eyes open, he done woke you up. You might as well go ahead and thank him right there because that's the first person looking at you when you wake up is the good Lord because he won't woke you up. You know, the angels woke you up. You know, he sent, you know, he got, he got you. And everybody is assigned to an angel. Everybody got angelic protection. Everybody got protection. Even the people that don't believe in God got an angel watching over. Even the people that don't believe in God got an angel watching over. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that claim they're atheists and all that stuff and don't believe in God. But I bet when y'all ass was in trouble, the first thing y'all said, oh, God, oh, Lord, help me. Contradicting that. Y'all believe in God. Y'all just be, y'all don't believe in God when he don't give you what you want. And he don't do things the way you want it. That's why y'all don't believe, you know what I mean? Because y'all can't have your cake and eat it too. It don't work that way. At the end of the day, like I said, falling in line is going to be God's will in the first place. But I'm going to get back to the subject about, you know, people getting offended because they don't watch their ass. How you offended because you fucking my nose up? Or some shit like that. You know what I mean? That's why I do spring cleaning in the house and stuff like that. You know, I don't believe in, you know what I'm saying, shit like, you know, I don't believe in, you know, being in a nasty spot. You know what I mean? Now, clutter is different, but being nasty like roaches and shit, I done seen people like, you know what I'm saying, I done been to a house, I done seen a rat run across that motherfucker. You know, I, I thought that shit's supposed to be on Tom and Jerry, that shit in real life. You know what I'm saying, I know some people have roaches and shit in their house, or something like that, like roaches sneak in through the roof or through the vents or some shit like that. But if you see a rat in here playing kickball with some damn meatballs and shit, it's a problem. You understand, it's a problem. When you see some roaches on rats in at the kitchen sink, it's a problem. You know, and then you act like you just kill a roach like it ain't no thing, when you... Got a lot of trash cans. That's why when I go in full house, I look at the kitchen and the bathroom. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's what I look at. Kitchen and bathroom. I do. Use the restroom. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and look up in there. You know, I try to keep my shit nice and tight. I do. You know, but you know, some people, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's different. Everybody's not the same. Everybody's clean is not my clean. Everybody's, you know what I'm saying? Weight is not my weight. You know what I'm saying? And that's understanding. That's understandable. But everybody's different strokes for different folks. But I know how I like to keep my shit, you do. I like to keep my shit spick and span. Spick and span with clean hands. You know what I mean? I like that, you know. Because at the end of the day, it's like when you go to work and shit, I be thinking about that shit. You got to be careful who you have pop look with and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Puppy might be sneezing in the uh, mashed potatoes or something. 
you know, cat fodding in the gumbo. You know, you never know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Shit, cat running all over the cat. Ah, get out of here, biscuit. Get out of here. And then they cover it up. Oh, they gonna like this shit at work. Nah. It don't work that way, Cadillac. Don't work that way, Cadillac. Nah. This is a beautiful day. You know what I mean? Every day is a beautiful day when you're above the dirt. You know, people complain a lot. I used to complain a lot, YouTube. I used to complain about stupid shit. And the reason I was complaining about stupid shit, I'm going to tell you why, YouTube. Because I was afraid. Because I didn't want to take ownership. Because I didn't want to take ownership and action of my responsibility. That's why I was fucking mad. Because I was lazy. It was my fucking fault. I ain't got nobody. I ain't got no, no damn business to be bitching at anybody else. You know what I'm saying? And then like some people be asking, you know, God, why this happened? God, why this happened? But you know what? In the Bible, they said we all going to have trouble. And that's one thing. You know, everybody, you know, some people cherry pick the Bible. You know what I mean? They want to look at the certain verses and stuff they want to look at. But they don't want to look at the whole thing. Everybody got to go through some shit. Everybody got to go through it. That's the tough thing about it. Everybody got to go through it. You know what I mean? But don't nobody want to go through it. But then when they go through it, they get mad. Like, they the only ones. You're not the only one. If you broke, you ain't the only one. You done lost somebody, you ain't the only fucking one. There's a lot of people out there. If you lost faith or something because, you know, life is hard, you're not the only one. Everything that we go through is a part of life, you too. That's just some real shit. It's a part of life. You know, some shit gonna grow us up. Some shit gotta grow us up. The same shit that's happening to us over and over again, that shit gotta grow us up. It's something that's got, that we gotta learn out that shit. It's just like people be like, I need to find a relate. I want to be in a relationship. Why do I keep running into fucked up women? Or why do I keep running into fucked up men? Why? Because it's something that you got to learn. What are you doing? It's not them all the time. It's probably somebody, you know, everybody's a teacher that come into your life. Everybody's not your friend, but everybody's a damn teacher. Somebody going to teach you something. They're going to teach you who to fuck with, who to not to fuck with. You know what I mean? Some people are genuinely your friend like me. I'm not nobody's friend because they my friend. I'm your friend because shit, I'm your friend. I'm your friend because I like you. I want to do shit for you. I want to look out for you. I don't need shit in return. Because I'm your fucking friend. I care about you. I want, I want your way of being. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you how I feel. But shit, you too. I'd rather for you to hate me and get better than like me and stay the same. So I can't be your fucking friend and agree with you. If you're fucking up, you just fuck it up. And I'm going to tell you, fuck if you like it. I love it because I love you. That's all it is. You know, some people tell me that tough love is a bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, just like my girl, she would tell me. My lady, she told me, she said, you don't like authority. Hell no, I don't like authority. And she know that. You know what I mean? But... She told me I couldn't get mad at her. Shit, I had to eat. She wasn't lying. I don't like that shit. You know, she wasn't lying. She'd tell me some shit about me. Hey, I don't like it, but hell, I got to eat it. You know? Fuck if I like it. She telling me what she feel because she love me. You know what I'm saying? So she gonna, that's just what it is. You know, some people, you just, you just got to keep it real with some people. Some people, they ain't going to they ain't gonna keep it real with you. You know, they ain't going to, they going to shortchange it just for you to like them. Man, fuck that. Because at the end of the day, it's just like a child. A child might hate you when you discipline their ass and whoop the shit out of them. But at the end of the day, when they grow up in the future, they're going to appreciate them ass whoops. They're going to appreciate you grounding them. They're going to appreciate all that shit. Because all the kids that, that listen, they're going to be out there fucked up in them streets. They're going to be out there fucked up doing shit that they ain't got no business. You know what I mean? And you, they're going to be looking at them like, damn. That's when that's Ray Ray and them. They, they was out there in the streets and shit. And they weren't going to school and shit when they was little. And I look at them all fucked up. But you know, when people complain about their parents, like, oh, they strict. Oh, my parents like the military and all that shit. Hell yeah. They're trying to keep you closed from what's out there because they're the bit out there. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers know what's out there. Trying to keep your ass up out of that shit. But it's like the more you keep kids closed off, the more they're going to want to get into shit when they get older. Because they never experienced it. They want to see they seeing all this shit on TV. TV be fucking people up. TV, social media, radio. They see this shit and they want to try it. Then when they try it, sometimes it take people under and it fuck their life up. And sometimes people learn their lesson and they grow out the shit. And they just thank God that they made it through. And they understand what their parents were talking about the whole damn time. About not to do this shit and not to do that shit. Because this shit is heavy out here. This world don't give a fuck about you. It's heavy out here. It's heavy in these streets. This shit is real. You know, that's why I thank God for my parents and all that. Sister. All that. Friends. All that. I thank God for the people that God put in my life. You know what I mean? That's why, you know... It's some kid. That's why when you, I believe, I'm a firm believer when you get your, when you have a kid, and if you got a family, you give it to God. Just say, God, I hand you over my family. 
I mean, that don't mean that you finna come take your family and all that shit like a whirlwind or shit like that. You know, just say, God, I put my family in your hands from this day forward. No matter what they go through in life, no matter what, God gonna protect them. They gonna learn some lessons. They gonna get their ass spanked in life, but God gonna protect them. You know what I mean? I'm a firm believer that my mom and my dad gave me, me and my sisters to God when we was a kid because we done did some shit. We done did some bullshit down the road because we human. And, we, you know, we gotta grow up and experiment shit. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, spend, we gotta experiment shit, but God kept us close. He kept us tight. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to my mom the other day. She was like, you know what I'm saying? She was telling me how proud she was of me and my sister because, you know, it's a lot of people out here in these streets fucked up, you know, when they could be doing better, but they not. But, you know, our family, we kept it tight. We kept it stable. You know, it's a little bumps and rolls. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be some bullshit. You know, like people be complaining about haters. Look, yeah, if you if you don't like haters, I'm going to tell you just like, you ain't going to make it if you got a problem with haters. Because if you trying to excel in life, best believe you're going to get some pushback. You're going to receive some pushback. You're going to have to get some pushback. Just to challenge and see what the fuck you made of. You're going to have to do that. You got to be built from the inside out. You're going to have to be... You're going to have to go through some hard shit. When was the last time you got some shit that was hard as hell and said, I wish I hadn't done that? And when was the last time you got some shit that was super hard? You worked your ass off and said, I don't appreciate it. You appreciate the hard shit. That's why I take the hard. That's why I work my ass off. Hell yeah, I'm going to keep working. I love this shit. I like working. I like staying busy. I like being disciplined. Being disciplined changed my fucking life. Being disciplined would change your life. That's just like when you clean up your crib. If you come home to a nasty ass crib, you're going to be like, damn. It's just a, a damper and a downer because ain't nothing in place. Ain't nothing in order. But if you come home and everything is in place, you see what you're working for and everything is just laid. Shit, this is what I'm grinding for. I'm coming home to a fucking kingdom. I'm coming home to a castle. This is how this shit's supposed to look. This is what I'm out here working for. This is what I'm out here grinding for. This shit right here. You know, some shit. I mean, have your shit looking nice and tight, clean. I mean, appreciate, value your shit. Because if you don't value shit, it can get, take, it can get taken away from you. I'm telling you just like this. The God opened the windows of heaven for everybody. But everything that opened can close. You know what I mean? If you take too long just to get your shit in order. You know what I mean? You can take too long. You know, everybody, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to tell you just like this. It's just like a GPS. God can be just like a GPS, you know? It's just like that, you know what I'm saying? If he wants you to do something you don't want to do, it, he can use the situation that you're doing, and he's still going to make you do it. You're going to fall in line one way or the other. That's just like, you know, sometimes you don't like, when you like clean your house, clean this is next to God. It, it really is. It Because re you feel more peaceful in a clean environment. Clean, fresh air is more peaceful, more calm. You don't want to go in just dark. Filthy or dirty or nothing like that. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean, sometimes you're gonna have clutter and stuff like that. But you know, just you know, just go over your shit, just keep everything clean. It's just like people get a haircut. You go in there and get a haircut. As soon as you step up out that chair, get your hair done, you look like a new person. You feel like new money. You even feel better. Your swag even better when you leave the shop. You know what I mean? You're like, damn, you know, you look in the mirror, are you ready to go now? You get your outfit, can't nobody tell you shit when you get dressed. That's the same thing as your your lifestyle. Clean this shit up and everything will change. Clean the shit up. That's the same with your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? You can live your life the way you want to live it. Just do, I mean, clean. Clean your shit. Get your hair cut. Wash your ass. Wash your nuts. You know, clean the old puss. You know? Clean it out. You know what I'm talking about? Get your shit in order. You know? It's a lot of people, you know, and I know a lot of y'all be like, you know, it's a lot of people. Yeah, I said shit in the harsh way. Hell yeah. That's how I fucking want to see it, you know? But some people just don't understand some people, it won't register to some people if you don't get in their ass. It's just like some people, you're like, hey, why don't you go ahead and take a shower? You know, I'll be back in a sec. They'll be like, oh, okay, I'll take a shower. But you, sometimes you got to, man, get your steak ass in the shower. Don't nobody want to smell that shit. Yeah, damn. Take a shower. Wash your ass. You're too old for that shit. And then they get their ass in the shower. You see what I'm saying? Some shit like that. You know, sometimes you got to show people tough love because if you don't show them tough love, it's just like the teachers in school. All the teachers that was asshole, they was, they was respected too. But all the teachers that was real nice and lenient, the kids ran over their ass like it wasn't shit. You know, Mr. Johnson, he was a motherfucking uh, lenient teacher. Mr. Johnson. Mr. Slater, Mr. Slater was a motherfucker. I'm just saying, I'm just giving names. Mr. Johnson, you know, Mr. Johnson, he was all weak teaching. You know, you can have a seat and all that shit. And they're like, fuck Mr. Johnson. I'm Mr. Johnson here today. Mr. Slater walking that motherfucker. They ain't gonna fuck with him. Mr. Slater give you tests. Mr. Slater, he'll make your ass stay out the class. Mr. Slater, he'll take you to be quiet. He'll give you a test every week. 
That's Mr. That was Mr. Slam. Mr. Jones, he just sit there and just let you color or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody gonna respect Mr. Jones. But everybody don't like Mr. Slater because Mr. Slater an asshole. But who gonna get the fucking respect, Mr. Slater? Now, like I say, just like a line. Don't nobody know, you know what I'm saying? The line ain't the biggest motherfucker in the jungle. But they know who the king, they know who the fuck the king is. You know what I'm saying? They know who the king is. But, you know what I'm saying? So, they clean this to God. But I like y'all cool with me, you know what I'm saying? This McFly episode, what, 11, 12, one of them. You know, I forgot. Thanks, 11. Thanks, so. No. I like keeping up with y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know, I'm going to come back and hit y'all in y'all head. You know what I mean? I'm going to come back, bust you. But, you know what I'm saying, for the 2122, appreciate y'all for watching. Good looking out. I, I appreciate y'all, you know what I'm saying, for supporting my lady when she stepped up. She stepped up and gave y'all God's word. Good looking out. Appreciate y'all for support. She beautiful, ain't she? I appreciate y'all. Good looking out. I'm finna go ahead and do my thing. I'm finna go and finish my spring cleaning. Go ahead and, you know, do what I gotta do. I got some long doing laundry and all kinds of shit. I'm trying to be responsible today. All right? But, you know, YouTube, y'all stay up. Fuck with me. All right? I'm out this bitch.